Good morning, my sister and my brother. Trusting that you are doing well. So this is a bird dealt warrior, and I just wanted to know, did you take time out to study? Remember, we must study the word. It is late on planet Earth, and we are needed to study the word or look for treasures. So did you find any treasures today that you can hold on to for the rest of the day? And um, we know how late it is on planet Earth, and the solution is Jesus Christ. And he stated, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have everlasting life. And that is John 3, 16. Let us go ahead and bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God. I thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God. Thank you for the rain, Father God. So, Father God, we ask you that you would have that shower to fall into our hearts, Father God, and wash us and make us whiter than snow, Father God. Father God, right now, I ask you, Father God, that you will decrease me so that you will be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother, scripture reading is, com is coming from, let's see, Revelations 13, verses 2. Revelations 13, verses 2, and it reads, And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words, my sister, my brother. And when you continue reading, um, one of the beasts here is Rome. The second beast is America. And it goes on in um, Revelation 13. And so we are angels in the Middle Ages. And we are the truth about angels. And we are in chapter 18. And the state, in the 13th century was established the most terrible of all the engines of the papacy, the Inquisition. The Prince of Darkness wrought with the leaders of the papal a hierarchy in their secret council, Satan and his angels controlled the minds of evil men. While unseen in the midst stood an angel of God, taking the fearful record of their sinful deeds and writing the history of the deeds too horrible to appear in human eyes. So when we talk about the, the angels in the Middle Ages, if you look at, if or if you have the book, The Great Controversy, it's in here, my sister and brother. It's just before we talk about a Luther and the Waldensians. It's just before there. Let me go back. I think I already missed it. And it's right after the, 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 the destruction of Jerusalem. And then it goes on. And then let me show you in this one, if you have this particular book here, this is the same thing, Great Controversy, Great Controversy. This is just a series. This is the Conflict of the Ages series, and it's in here. And you can find this on page 59 in, in, the, in this particular one, if you have the series. And then the Great Controversy is the same information in all these books. Same information, it's just different cover, same information. I tell you, every household should have a copy of this so you know what happened in heaven and all the way throughout the whole history of this earth is right there. And also, this is under the title, An Era of Spiritual Darkness. And when I said here, it says, horrible to appear to human eyes. So if you, when you read the Great Controversy, it picks up, it says, Babylon the Great was drunken with the blood of the saints. So when we're talking about the Middle Ages or the Dark Ages, uh, is what happened where uh, Rome, the papacy, was going around crucifying Christians, my sister and brother, uh, doing all sorts of things to Christians. So that is what we're talking about. And you know what? It's so bad. It's so, it's so uh, horrible. And it's the same thing that's going to uh, happen uh, here. Um, sooner or later, it's going to happen here because there's one agenda, one agenda that's push, pushing. Um, the nation is pushing on all the, in all the different um, countries all over the world. And if you do not abide by that particular agenda, 
then you will be an outcast and then you are going to be one of those individuals because you are standing on Bible truth. You will be you will be persecuted, my sister, my brother. And you can see where we are headed. Wickedness is increasing in the land. What does that mean? It means that the spirit, the spirit of the Lord is being slowly been removed from this earth, my sister, my brother. And so sin is increasing because Satan knows that his time is so short and he has to speed up to, to get in uh, as many uh, as God's children to, to fall, to fall, to fall, to go on his side. So my sister and brother, let us continue to be very prayerful in our studies. Or if you're not studying, uh, let me encourage you to pick up the word of God and study for yourself. So, so for those of you that have the book, the uh, conflict of the series is on page 59. And in the other books, you will be able to find it there as well. So the angels in the Middle Ages. So that was conclusion. And so in tomorrow, no, no, at 11 o'clock, we're going to go to the Protestant Reformation. It's Protestant Reformation, that would be the topic for 11 o'clock. So let me uh, share with you my devotion. And the devotion state, complete in him. And ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power. And this is coming from Colossians 2, verses 10. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God, and I give you permission to take full control. And I thank you, Father God, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. It states here, you cannot enter heaven with any deformity or imperfection of character. And you must be fitted for heaven now in this probationary life. If you would enter the abode of the righteous where Christ shall come, you must have the deep moving of the Spirit of God that you may have an individual experience and be complete in Him who is the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Through the power of the righteousness of Christ, we are to depart from all iniquities, let me repeat this. Let me repeat this. Through the power of righteousness of Christ, we are to depart from all iniquities. There must be a living connection of the soul with its Redeemer. The channel of communication must be open continual between man and his God, that his soul may grow in grace and in the knowledge of the Lord. But how many do not pray. Let me repeat that. But how many do not pray? They feel under condemnation of sin and they think that they must not come to God until they have done something to merit his favor. And, no, no, let me go back. Or, let me go back, let me go back. They feel under condemnation of sin that they think they must not come to God until they have done something to merit his favor or until God has forgiven above their transgression. That God has forgotten about their transgression. They say, I cannot hold up holy hands before God without wrath or doubting, and therefore I cannot come. So they remain away from Christ and are come are committing sins all the time in so doing. For without him, ye can do nothing but evil. Let me repeat that. For without him, ye can do nothing but evil. Just as soon as you commit sin, you should flee to the throne of grace and tell Jesus all about it. You should be filled with sorrow for sin because through sin, you have weakened your own spirituality, grieved the heavenly angels, and wounded and bruised the loving heart of your Redeemer. When you have asked Jesus in contrition of soul for his forgiveness, believe that he has forgiven you. Do not doubt his divine mercy or refuse the comfort of his infinite love. If your children had disobeyed you and committed wrong against you, and that child should come with a breaking heart to ask forgiveness, 
you know what you would do. You know how quickly you would draw your child to your heart and assure him that you love that your love was unchanged and his transgression forgiven. Are you more merciful than your merciful heavenly Father? Who so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life? And this is John 3.16. You should go to God as children goes to their parents. Mm. So that complete my devotion. Complete in Him. Complete in Him. And here is the hymn. Wait, is this one? And it states, uh, "Lead me, Lord. Lead me, Lord. Lead me in Thy righteousness." Make thy way plain before my face, for it is thou, Lord, thou, Lord, only that makest me dwell in safety. Let me repeat this. Lead me, Lord, lead me in thy righteousness. Make thy way plain before my face, for it is thou, Lord, thou, Lord, only that maketh me dwell in safety. Mm. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, we ask you, Father God, that you would lead us, Father God. Lead us into your righteousness, Father God. If we have said anything or done anything that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father God, we ask you to forgive us, Father God. Wash us and make us whiter than snow. And Father God, we give you permission to use us, mold us, shape us into what you want us to be, Father God. And we forever give you all the praise, the honor, and glory. In Jesus' name I have prayed. Amen and amen. Okay, my sisters and brothers, so this was a blessing to you. Can you do me a favor? Hit the like button, make a comment, hit the share, share, share. And then you can follow me over YouTube under Burdell Warrior. While you're there, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification. So when my videos goes up, you'll be the first to be notified. And thank you so much for helping me grow my YouTube channel. Also, thank you for purchasing my book. And if you would like to continue supporting my ministry, because um, all the proceeds goes to uh, to my ministry to help further my ministry. So you can go to BIT for the first book, bit.ly backslash spiritual warfare 21. And the second book is bit.ly backslash the number 15 compelling reasons 2022. And thank you so much, my sister and brother, for taking the time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today. But before you go, may I have a hug? May I have a hug? So here we go. So we're going to do four for survival. So here we go. One, two, three, one more. Four. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So consider yourself hug today. I love you. I love you. Appreciate you. Until tomorrow. No, no, I was going to say tell tomorrow. No, uh, for a few hours later, I'll come back and we will talk again. So until then, be blessed and take care.